What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and that Splatoon intro, that shit is kind of old now. I gotta, I gotta change that shit, but anyways, now there's some game-breaking glitch that's going on in Splatoon right now. It's obviously going to get patched out, because these guys definitely are on top of things when it comes to straightening out errors with their games. They usually change the format of the maps very frequently in certain game modes, so I mean, this isn't gonna last too long. I haven't seen it in full detail myself, and nor have I even played the Rainmaker mode yet. I know, you're already going to criticize the hell out of me for it. I actually did play Splatoon a lot this week, I just have not touched that Rainmaker mode yet. Have you ever had that feeling in your mouth where like your teeth feel like really, fric they have like a lot of friction on them, so like you rub your tongue on them and it doesn't slide as easily, so it makes it hard to like move your tongue in your mouth? when you're talking. That's what I'm experiencing right now. I apologize if I sound a little bit weird for that, but at least now you have a disclaimer. Anyways, a lot of people have had their eyeballs on this already, and I gotta give a big shout out to my motherfucking man, Game Onion, this leaking nigga. This nigga made the Dr. Mario leak. This nigga made another leak as well too. One, one that involves Smash, of course. I think he made, uh, there's, there's been so many that have happened over the last few months that it's difficult to kind of remember them all. But, I mean, he made a ton of leaks before, fake leaks, and he tricked me a couple of times, man. You get props for that, dude. But, I mean, it doesn't really take much to trick me. Just make it look convincing, and I'll talk about it. Because, you know, I feel like I said before, I don't want to explain this all the time. When it comes to Smash Brothers leaks, I just like talking about them because they're interesting and provide, like, a little bit of perspective in terms of uh, new game modes or things that we could anticipate for the future, maybe. A lot of times I don't really 100% believe them. I mean... Only certain scenarios. Um, anyways, guys, I'm not talking about Smash Bros. Leaks. I'm talking about Splatoon glitches. Let me get my headphones in my ear, and let's watch exactly what's going on here. The Rainmaker mode, I don't understand it fully, but basically taking something from one place and moving it to another, keeping it there long enough, and you win eventually. And um, when you have it, everyone's trying to go for your ass. I get the general gist of it. I don't understand it 100%. But I mean, if this is game breaking, then we'll obviously see how, in God's name, it does so in the first place. I don't really have to understand the mode 100%. I definitely should play it soon, though. So let's take a look at this right now. Let me just mute the music. And a lot of niggas talk shit about me saying, Oh, Etika, man, you always have the music playing in your videos. It's such a cheap way of doing it. I do my videos in a much different format now. I don't use, like, memory cards and transfers and rendering. The way I do these videos, there's no rendering involved. I literally finish this video, it's all live, and then I just upload it. And I guess that's something I can do that's a little bit special about me. I can do videos kind of live status, and, you know, for the most part, they come out okay. Um, I just need to start incorporating gameplay a lot more. Oh, I got a fucking... Gah. I don't know what the hell that was. I just gotta start incorporating gameplay more on my channel. We'll be good. But okay, Hammerhead Bridge Glitch. 5,694 views within one day. Not bad at all. Let's see exactly what this is, dude. I'm gonna full screen it. Alright, so... This is the Rainmaker mode, man. Got it on full screen, HD. How much of a game breaker is this? So he's got the Rainmaker at this point. Oh wow, this is bad. That's really bad. This is a new level too, I haven't even played this level yet. Oh wow! Oh. Definitely game breaking. What? What? Damn, nigga! This is some squid Assassin's Creed shit right here. This looks exactly like Assassin's Creed 3 when Desmond was infiltrating the Brazilian stadium. Yo. How crazy is this gonna look? This nigga's gonna go straight to the ground. Wow, dude. What? Oh my god. It's a beautiful level, though. I'll give it that. I'll tell you right now, um, if I ever do play the Rainmaker mode and I go to Hammerhead Bridge, 
I know, actually, I did play it, but it was in um, Splat Zones. I know for a fact that in Rainmaker, you're going to see a bunch of people trying to transverse underneath the bridge like that. Because if this isn't patched out yet, then obviously people are aware of it at this point. And if they're not aware, you'll be aware now. I'm doing this to inform a lot of people at the same time that this is probably going to be a way that a lot of users bullshit this mode. So you're aware now. It doesn't seem like it's too difficult for anyone to go under there. Um, just do a couple of really well-timed jumps and you'll be able to get to those areas no problem. So I know for a fact when I play tonight, I'm going to be running into this. So I'm ready. My body's ready. Um, obviously, this isn't going to last too long. And I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's already patched out at this point. Oh, Kristen is in here? Not sure if actual strategy or just cheating. And um, Ryanator says, call Etika. Oh, Ryanator, I heard your motherfucking call. Somebody somewhere sent me this. And um, in actuality, it was um, this guy. Game on? Oh, yeah, Game on, of course. But um, yeah, this is something now that you are aware of, and knowledge is key. So if you ran into this, even Nintendo, my man Hank said, this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, Hank, what's going on, baby? Yo, once again, man, thanks for the capture card. But, I mean, yeah, this is caught everybody off guard. The fact that the team made such an error. They usually are so meticulous when it comes to their level design. They have a little bit of a problem with this one. Hopefully, it gets fixed soon. It makes the game not as, you know, backbreaking. Because I know some people wouldn't really have the coordination to be able to make such precise movements. Especially when you're moving with the game pad. But um, when you use two sticks, that ain't a problem. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.